guys, today we're crossing off one of my bucket list items. About 20 years ago, I first saw street drifting in the mountains in Japan, and that's what we're doing in this video. We've got a couple cars here that are gonna take us out for the night. We're gonna head about an hour away to some mountains to see what this is all about. So let's go find out what these cars are all about, and we're gonna hop in them later and go drifting. So this is a Mark II Chaser, right? Mark II, the JZX100 Mark II. Okay, so we're right, going for a ride in the Chaser. What what have you done to this car? Many of the engine, engine. So, TD05 So it's a TD05 uh, Greddy Turbo. Okay. Everything is bone stock. Really? The whole entire okay. engine except for the turbo, that's it. Damn. Turbo and injectors. Just turbo and suspension yeah. work? Yeah. What's been done to the suspension? Suspension. Suspension pain. Tain suspension, the front is 45k and the rears are 30k springs. Okay. Just to be this low and not hit the fenders and everything. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Anything else done to it? So they're called 1484 Knuckles. Uh, it's a guy up north in Chiba. Uh, he made these knuckles and extended lower arms. Uh, extended 40 mil uh, lower arms. And then the rears, uh, three piece set arms for the rears from D Max. Cool. Are the, are the wheels pushed forward or are they stock location? Stock location, oh, okay. except for the fronts, for the arms being pushed out and everything. Gotcha. Sweet. So a pretty simple setup. Yeah, yeah. And about 350 horsepower. Okay. What's factory? How much power? Uh, factory, I believe, is 275, 280. Okay. What's your tire of choice? Tire of choice? Kenda. 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 KR20, uh, all four, 215, 35, 18s. Sweet. About how much time do you get on them? <laughs> he gets about 10 minutes, 10 minutes? Life, okay. of life out of the tires. No, no spares? Uh, he usually does, He but we have it in the other car Gotcha, and okay, that's smart. <laughs> cool, we got some backups. How long have you been drifting for? 11 years. Now. 11 years drifting. And that's when cool. he got his license, that's when he just started. So when he was 16, uh, the mountain that we're going to go to, Yabitsu, it's his home course. He's been going up and down the mountain since he was 16 on his moped. Really? And he knows it by heart going up and down and everything. And then from there, when he got his license, he started drifting that mountain. And yeah, now he's really, really good at that yeah. specific mountain. Sweet. Cool. Well, we'll check out the other car when we get there. I appreciate the rundown. Yeah, no problem. So sad leaving Daikoku PA every time, but this time it's for something better. I'm excited.
like 1, 140, 160. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, not gonna lie, that was definitely one of the most frightening things I've ever done. But I, <laughs> I did my research, looked at a lot of the videos on his Instagram, and knew that he knew what he was doing. But uh, I wasn't ready for that. Looking back at my footage, it's not some of my proudest work, but honestly, all I was doing was staring at my viewfinder, trying not to panic. And <laughs> but he managed to keep control and stay in his lane, and the lanes he had usable the entire time, that was insane. Such a cool view, and I was just told this is actually the mountain from Initial D where Takumi took his girlfriend for a date, and we're up here drifting up it right now. Just got to the top, we're gonna gather the cars, see who else is going up, and then we're gonna go for a serious drift. Alright, this must be our starting point. Alright. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sagoy! Very nice! Great! Hell yeah! Okay, that literally drifting up the side of the initial D mountain at that in Japan. <laughs> After over 20 years of watching videos from the early 20s, like, you know, four pixels. Um, and now being here in person, it's, it's, it's amazing, honestly amazing. <laughs> For this? <laughs> I don't know. You've been drifting in the track. Ask me, uh, ask me when I get back. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Alright. Did I feel unsafe? Exactly. At all, he that's, knows this road. That knows the road. He knows the car. 
Oh, just the way you flick. Oh, my. I gotta, I gotta get out for a second. <laughs> Our second drifter is here, pulled up in the Toyota Cresta. We're gonna find out what's going on with this car and see some tandem drifting soon. I'm really excited for this. I've seen videos side by side going up in the mountain. And I really wanna see it tonight. Freaking insane. <laughs> We're on a freaking mountain in Japan and just tearing it up. <laughs> Things gotta do a little bit of body work on the side of the road. All right, time to hop in the Toyota Cresta for some tandem drifting. Oh, oh, sm sm smoking, dash. smoking, okay. Up to you. S smoking, yeah, okay. Uh -oh. yeah. The dash was cool. Yeah, yeah. That's the Digi Dash, right? Dig Dig Digi Dash. <laughs> it's crazy how it's like deep in there. Yeah, never seen that. camera feels like 20 yeah. pounds right now. Yeah, good. That was fucking yeah. sick. Yeah. Damn. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> I am, my adrenaline is going like crazy. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. Here. All right. Sweet little 2J. Is it 2J or 1J? 1J. 1J, okay. Yeah. Single turbo? No, Tomei. Tomei. Oh, it's a Tomei turbo. Tomei single turbo? Yeah. Wait, how much power? 450. 450, okay. Doesn't take much. He uh, turned the boost down so it's about 400. Okay. 
what else is done to the car. I saw a controller in the dash. And it's a, what is it, 1990 something Cresta? This is a 96. 96, okay. Cool. Oh. What else is done to the engine? Anything else? Engine on normal. Engine on normal. Bone stock engine. Really? Ooh, yeah. No shit. Cool. Oh. It, it takes some abuse. Yeah. That inline six does work. After a wild night of drifting on the streets up in the mountains, we're out here at Mobara Circuit for a track day drifting. So we're going to experience this in a little bit more legitimate environment now. Let's go hop in some cars. And we're off. We're going to start things off here with a little bit of a street car drift. First time out on the circuit. down a bit <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was sweet entering the corners like 120 kilometers an hour kicking it sideways look at this 34 yeah. in a four-door chaser this is unreal should have sat in the back seat really in the back <laughs> Probably throw up the it is a street car yeah, yeah. There you drive. Thank you very much. That was amazing. In a four-door streetcar, 500 horsepower, you put this thing to work. I love it. Very nice. All right, we're out here with Samit. What's up, everybody? At Mubara Circuit. Thank you for the invite out here. No worries. Happy to. Can do some legitimate street drifting. We're gonna do some legitimate drifting now. That's right. We've that's had right. some fun up in the mountains on the streets. Yeah. Last time to do it here. Oh yeah. You've got a pretty big YouTube channel over here. Yep. Doing mainly drifting. Yep. Plug it real quick. It's uh, Samet on YouTube. We are the biggest uh, drifting automotive YouTuber here now. Hell yeah, yeah congrats, man, that's massive. Thank Three you. quarters of a million subscribers, I believe. Yep, 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 we're nearly there, nearly there. I'm just waiting okay. for that one last million. Good. <laughs> well, let's see the goods, pop the hood, let's yeah, check it so, out. So, for uh, anyone that knows their N15s, full Yashio factory aero kit, hence the pink colors. Okachan taught me everything I know about drifting. But, we got a 2JZ powerhouse under here. Yeah. This is the cookie cut competitive drift car. Yep. S15 with a 2J, you can't really go wrong. Um, we've used like pretty much all the best of the best, but kept everything really simple. I haven't had any issues for two years straight. It is it's very simple, there's not much under here. Really responsive. 750? 850. Oh, 850, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, it'll do a thousand if I, you know, change the turbo and everything like that, but this is just not necessary for the, the um, series that I was competing in. So built engine? Yeah, fully forged. Um, we run the Kelford 272 cams. Um, we get rid of the power steering pump, the stock power steering pumps. They always seem to be the issues on these. We go to the Opel Astra one. These things are great. You get like four of them rebuilt from Poland for 400 bucks. <laughs> the only thing is you got to keep it close to the engine so your pressure line to the rack is still small and then you have no issues. It feels amazing. I run a Just Engineering kit, a Plasma intake manifold, and of course a, a Garrett G35 900. All the good stuff and rear mount radiator, all that kind of thing. Got some Aussie parts in here. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a wrapper, man. You said you put the radiator in the back? Yeah. Uh, I noticed radiator. that was missing right away. Yeah, yeah. It used to be here, but we had overheating issues, and I was like, screw it, put it in the back. Yeah. And that fixed everything. It doesn't get anything above 92 degrees Celsius now. My favorite part, just because we got a really nice radium fuel cell and uh, a radiator. Oh, damn, right there for you to see. Yeah. 
So yeah, really simple. We don't have like a crazy big custom radiator because in Japan that stuff doesn't really exist. So we actually use a Mark IV super radiator and it's just the cheap Chinese one. So that they're just 300 bucks a pop. When you have a crash and this gets crumpled, you just replace it super fast. Just some serious fans, that's all yeah. I need. Well, these are just Aristo fans, 2 JC oh. Aristo fans. So they're like the go-to kind of thermo fans and then uh, yeah, the radiant fuel cell and everything's all done. Some drift secrets for you. Yeah. They're not secret anymore. <laughs> cool. Well, Matt's going to hop in with you yep. and go for a drift. Yeah, hopefully uh, we get to give him a little bit of a fright. <laughs> It'll be fine. First time drifting in Japan. Here nice. we go. If you guys are enjoying this video, I'd appreciate if you hit the pause button, go to the description, click the link to our merch store. We've got a ton of merchandise there, including our new JDM Dreams t-shirt and hoodie, and of course one of our top sellers, the fuck around and find out t-shirt and hoodie design. The hoodie's keeping you warm in the winter time. It's freaking freezing right now. We've got tons of other stuff on there. Check it out. It helps us go on trips like this to Japan and all around the world. Make sure you felt all of this car. I felt all of it. <laughs> yeah. Every single bit. He told me which corner it was his favorite, which one's yours out there. Oh, yeah. definitely the big backwards. The here. fast street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where I was standing. It was nuts. Because it's uphill, right? You can really send it, and then as you give it as much angle as possible, you scrub off all the speed. So you really feel the G's, like the big flick in the back. And everything gripping in. I was up on the far turn, and I, I didn't know you were coming. You came around the corner, like, so freaking fast. Air price, man. The clutch, the car's just like, ah! <laughs> yep, yep. Thank you so no, much. No, anytime, guys. I haven't anytime. had that much fun in a while. Look at uh, this guy's smile. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Long overdue. So I understand there's a little bit of an interesting engine in this S14 over here. We were following it early at first glance. The back end kind of looks like an old Camaro. Of course, we're not going to see that here. But look at what's under the hood of this. What in the? <laughs> R35 VR engine in it. That's nuts, and it looks so good in here. Yeah. It's actually becoming a very common swap now, just because they're not as long as a 2J, and they're actually a little lighter, and they just stock engine. They you never just need break. the width, right? Yeah. So like in a good competitive car, they can make 600 all day and never break, and you can use them for oh, five true. years on just normal high-octane gas here. True. Super reliable. And then, You're not tripling the horsepower. Exactly, exactly. So like, it's just super good. But this thing's been turned up. Jinsei yeah. desu ka, stroka. Stroka desu ka, Jinsei. So it's a 3.8, it's not stroked. Hi. So it's, it's, it's 950 right on that limit of 1,000. No shit. Yeah. Making some good power. Yeah, they do. They right do. where you need to build these engines. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What a badass car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually the first RB I've seen today, ironically enough. So it's a 25 base, but it's got 26 rods and pistons in it, so it's a 2.6 liter. I love S15s, and they are everywhere here. We don't see many of them in the States because we didn't get them. They're all imported. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> we had a blast oh. in a Mavara Twin Circuit, yes. going for some rides and some drift cars. What an amazing time. Thank you to Sam for inviting us yes, out. Yeah, thank we you. really appreciate that. And my that. friend Eugene for giving us some tips on this as well. Yeah. Thank, thank you guys. But that's gonna do it for this video. As I always. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video, guys. Otherwise, we're going to come find you. <laughs>